everything starts with the soil. If you have a bad soil, you will have a bad landscape. And it's our goal to heal the soil. I already showed you before the rocks and then mm -hmm. the dark soil. We need to go from these rocks to dark soil. So mm -hmm. depending on how your soil is right now, we have to make some changes to it. And how do we do this? First by observing how is the soil right now. So we're going to dig a little hole with our hands mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and feel the soil for ourselves. Okay, so I do this. Yeah, so in and now you can take some of this moist soil and mm -hmm. you can try to make like a little sausage out of it. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Uh -huh. And by looking at how this sausage holds together or falls apart, uh -huh. you know what kind of soil you have. Uh -huh. So if you try to make a donut out of it, out of the sausage, then you see how it's falling apart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you can make a donut, it means you have clay soil. Okay. So we can't make it so we don't have clay soil. If you cannot make the sausage, it means you have sandy soil. Uh -huh. But we okay. can make a sausage, can't okay. make a donut, so what will it be? Between sand and clay you have loam. La loam. Okay. So we have loamy soil here. Okay. So that's like one thing to know. Alright, we have loamy soil. So if you search plants, uh -huh. ideal plants, you know a lot of plants like loamy like, soil. Like indeed. Yeah, yeah, that's like one of the best kind of soils you can mm -hmm. have. There is an even better solution to mm -hmm. know the percentages of your mm -hmm. soil and that's the jar test. Ah. So we have a jar filled with water for like half of it. Yeah. And then we can fill it with soil. So you can start... Voila, voila. And how much soil do we need to put in? That's, 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 that's fine. Look, there's a little bit air left. Yeah. Then, then we're going to close the jar. Mm -hmm. So, and then mm -hmm. just shaky, shaky. Mm -hmm. It's like a cocktail. It's a soil cocktail. So, uh, soil cocktail. Yeah, yeah. very healthy. Yeah. Soil, you can... Well, you no can, alcohol though, Louis. I'm nah. a bit disappointed about that. You but can always hey. add it. So, after you yeah. have shaken it, yeah. it always takes a while. So, now we're not going to see it so well. But the most heavy parts are going to yeah. go downwards. Yep. And the lightest parts are going to go upwards. Mm -hmm. So... If there's sand in it, there's yes. going to be like some sand on, in the bottom. Right. Clay will go on the top right. and loam in the middle. Okay. So right now, there isn't a lot of distinction. We can assert that it's mostly loamy soil here. Mm -hmm. There's of course a much easier way to know what kind of soil type mm -hmm. you have. And that's take a soil sample and send it to a lab. Yes, but it's not as fun as, as doing the sausage or doing the jar. No. Test, is it really? No, no, no. Let's let's be Not honest. Not at all. Even it's though you love technology and science and so on. Yeah, I know. It's it, this way you can yeah. see proof. Otherwise, yeah. yeah, you just have to trust somebody. Yeah. So the next thing we want to know is the pH of your soil. Mm -hmm. So pH, it's between zero and fourteen. Right. Seven is neutral. Okay. Then you have a neutral soil. If you go below seven, for example, a lemon, it's below seven it's uh, acid yes and higher than seven it's alkaline okay and the somehow I, I would have thought it would be the other way around isn't it yeah no yeah. i don't know yeah. hey that's sour is false lower. logic yep sour is lower alkaline i didn't is invent higher. it good um, okay <laughs> glad to, to, to have that confirmed coca-cola for example is also, also very acidic yes um soap is more alkaline mm -hmm. what's the ideal ph of a soil around six okay 5.8, 6, depending so on what you want. a little bit of acidity. A little bit of acidity, yeah. yeah. Okay. How do you measure it? You have kind of... <gasps> got all these things with you. Paper. Yeah. yeah. So you can rip it out, you know, and you can dip it into so the water. So how far in do I put it? Just, Just this tip? I know as far as you can go. Like this? Yes, perfect. Take it out? Yeah, wait a little ah, bit. Okay. And then you can take it out. And then remove the dirt a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then... Normally, like where your thumb is, yeah. can I take it over? Yeah. And here you can see what color uh -huh. it ah. got. And then you can look here. Uh -huh. Does it match any of these colors? So it's right. not seven? No. Five, maybe? Six, no. It's well, more closer towards to four, four. no? Four. Yeah. And it's so that's quite acidic then. Quite acidic. Yeah. And Too I acidic. Yeah, too acidic. Yeah. 
And I have to confirm, we did a lab testing yes. and it was between four and five. <gasps> ah. So this piece of paper does the job. Does the job. We love it. <laughs> Not as accurate. Uh, it, it's nice to, to have it, but I also like lab testing mm. because then, you know, it's like yeah. the real deal. So uh, these are manual tests. I like them. It, it's really, you can feel yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I prefer a lab test mm -hmm. um, to be really accurate. Yes. Um, what you have to check for, for the nutrients, the nitrogen, the phosphorus and the kalium, NPK, those are like the three basic ingredients, mm -hmm. nutrients, to check if these are balanced. The pH, but also the organic content. Yeah. How yeah. much or what's the percentage of organic content in the soil? If it's really low, you know you have to put more carbon into your soil. How do you do that? More trees, there are carbon pumps, they suck it out of the air, put it in their leaves and then shed it to the ground, then carbon grows. If you do not have trees, you can import carbon. For example, wood chips are very, very good. Um, and if you grow food on your piece of ground, it's important to know if there aren't any heavy metals toxic yes. substances make, so yeah. you, you have to you have a list of those soil uh, lab test uh, sheets uh, you can like check those things okay um, so this is all more of your detective work this is more of your detective another work. way of coming at all of yeah. this detective work you've another got the technology you've got this yeah. combination of the feeling the yeah. looking the seeing the testing the apps the drones it's kind of that combination yeah exactly yeah. Uh, you can also, of course, do it without the drone and just use the, yeah. the Google imagery. Mm -hmm. um, but a soil test, if, you invest, if you're going to invest thousands of euros yeah. into trees, you want to know that you use the right trees. Mm -hmm. And for example, if you're now going to look for plants, you can like put all your detective work just like in the boxes. For example, are we in the shade here? No. No. Yeah. Where is there a lot of wind? Hmm, yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, Where's the nearest water source that must, or does that not yeah, come is, into play? Is it a moist soil yeah. or is it the dry yeah. soil? Yeah. Uh, is it clay, loam, mm -hmm. um, is it acidic or not? Mm -hmm. So all these things you can like write it in those boxes, mm -hmm. on those search engines online, and then it will show you all the plants that can Good. grow on your condition. Mm -hmm. But you can only do that if you know all these little uh, things as pH, soil type shadow or not moist soil or not and then uh, then you but have all of that all makes my food plants. forest come to life in a much yeah. more concrete way exactly. I can really start to fill in the gaps yeah. of exactly. what my vision is yeah. yeah and then two things I like very much to to do with your soil is uh, or you dig like a really deep hole mm -hmm. so you can like go one meter deep and see all the layers to yes. know oh. Eh, what, what kind of layers mm -hmm. there are um, and also to check how many earthworms are there because they are indicators of how healthy your soil is. Right. The more you have the better. Yeah. So we're gonna do this very quickly. You just make like this mm -hmm. hole. Can I remove this? Yes you can. Thank you. Yep. Okay. So so we're looking for earthworms now. We're looking for earthworms. Okay. Wow poor earthworms. They're going to be disturbed, aren't they? Yes, a little bit. So that's in science, you always you're disturbing the soil. Dis the poppies disturb will disturb a little bit to know the results. So now, so this is your best friend. You want to have as many earthworms as possible because what do these lovely little guys do for you? They eat stuff. They poo it out. So they enrich your soil. Mm -hmm. They make these little holes and mm -hmm. or like uh, so they aerate are they aerating the soil with yeah. their holes yeah exactly yeah. they're aerating yeah. the soil and um it means water can infiltrate better it means mm -hmm. that uh, the water holding capacity is higher you can store more yeah. water into yeah. the soil um, and also you need to have air in the soil we yeah. sometimes forget that in the soil you do not only need water and nutrients mm -hmm. but we also mm -hmm. need air mm -hmm. so we go and plow the fields with our big machinery, but if you have millions of these guys in your soil, they do it for you for free. 
-hmm. You do not have to pay them. They're doing this 24 seven. So if and you- And they're happy about it. Yeah, they, it's what they do. It's, it's, it's how they feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're gonna put our little friend back where he belongs or where she belongs. Thank you for that. I appreciate and, it. And so we can like very slowly go and find other ones. Mm -hmm. um, so how do we take care of these earthworms? We need to give them food. And what do they like the most? Like those oh. debris of dead wood, okay. leaves. They like okay. leaves. They like um, all kind of organic material. If you put it on the ground, they go upstairs, okay. eat it, put it downstairs. Okay. So they suck all the things that fall on the ground, they put it into mm -hmm. the soil. Mm -hmm. And if you have all these little furrows in the soil mm -hmm. or little tunnels in the soil, the plant roots can go even deeper okay. and go and find more stuff. So, so you need to give them the right stuff so they can do that job so that you don't have to plow your fields day yeah, in, day exactly. out. And that's regenerative agriculture. Okay. That's yeah. let nature do the job what it's been doing for millions of years. It's just we with our big egos and big machinery that think we can do it better. But uh, the only way we can do it is by huge expenses of oil and labor. But if you let nature do it, it's much better for both us and nature itself.